Was that the best game of the year? I, th I think that was the best game of the year so far. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Recap Reactions. Jets win a dominant performance over the New Jersey Devils today. Final score, 6-3. to three. This was a great game. This was probably the best game of the season, if I really had to think of it, honestly. Um, they were just perfect tonight because they battled back. They There was a moment. There was a moment when it was 2-2. Where I was like, okay, they're going full Jets. They're going to blow it. I thought this game was out of reach at that point. Even though it was tied, it just the whole demeanor of that, you know, those those quick goals scored there by the Devils. They just, the whole demeanor of it, the way the Jets played the play of it, it just felt, you know, so reminiscent of so many top other plays and miscues and all these other things we've seen in the past that have led to moments that are just create opportunity for the opponent. And then they take advantage of it and they run with it. And then the Jets are kind of deflated. But that's not what happened tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Because after those two goals, the Jets scored three to unanswered and they would end up winning this game. This game had resilience all throughout all the lines. Nikolai Ehlers tonight was awesome in a game that he needed to be awesome in. He has kind of been slumping a little bit. I know he's having a slow start to the year, and that's okay with all the injury stuff. You know, I knew he'd get heal one eventually, and thank God he did. He's got four goals already to this game. He was great tonight. Obviously, one's an empty netter. I'm still I'm just going to point that out. But still, getting the points that matter and scoring the goals, helping this team win, and that's what's most important. When it comes down to it, let's be real. It doesn't matter if it's an empty netter or not. When you're on a slump and getting points, getting going like that, that's what counts. It's getting those numbers on the score sheet, on the box score and that's exactly what Ehlers did tonight and all four lines honestly did really really well tonight and again time and time again we've seen it this season no matter what you know the, the how how the forward core is playing defensively at times and it, with all the system at play including the defensive defenseman on the ice and all the other you know defensive miscues that we've seen at times the forward core offensively has been dynamic and they continue to be dynamic I really like all four lines and this is a team that, that we have to remember that we have not seen with Gabriel Velarde yet. When Gabriel Velarde gets back and he can get going, I'm very, very excited to see what this Jets team could look like. Um, not to mention, we like I said as well, you know, we have Villa Hinola coming up as well soon with the injuries as well, and hopefully he gets a look. So lots to be excited for. Like, look at these goals tonight. Like, they were awesome. Just bang, bang plays, quick offensive reads, great uh, opportunity, just everything you want to see from a team, you know, looking to be hungry in the offensive zone. The Jets battled back, they battled, they scored when they needed to, and this was an awesome game for that. I think my my standout players tonight were Ehlers, Kyle Connor, Mark Shifley made some really, really amazing passes as well. You know, the goals, especially on that uh, Kyle Connor power play goal that Shifley assist was amazing. Like, Kyle Connor's goal was incredible, but the pass from Shifley was fantastic. You know, per and Perfetti tonight was amazing. He, you know, he had a, uh, a three-point game tonight, uh, excuse me, a two-point game tonight. You know, Kyle Connor a three-point game tonight. Uh, Nikolai Ehlers as well with a two-point game with two goals. You know, defensively, Josh Morsey had four assists tonight. Like, the man was everywhere that he needed to be, and he had a great game. Like, this this was the type of Jets game that you that you needed to see, uh, especially after the last one. Um, I'm very, very happy that they won this game, and I'm hoping that they can get things going and go on a little bit of a run right now, because that's exactly what they need to do. Because right now, the Jets are sitting kind of exactly where they were last year at this point in the seasons, you know, point-wise, and kind of where they were in the shake of things. You know, 15 games played, 8-5-2 and two record with 18 points. Um, the Avalanche Stars have a tied in point. The, Av the Avalanche Stars, can I, I cannot believe I just said that in all my years of being a hockey fan shaking my head over here right now the avalanche and the stars are ahead of the jets uh the avalanche are tied with us with 18 points uh with one game in hand 14 games played the dallas stars have 23 points and 15 games played we're not really you know they're, they're very good we saw that in the last game so you know the jets being where they are right now in points is exactly where you want them to be in that hunt in the fight still and 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 I'm happy with that. They need to go on a little bit of a run, though. They need to start putting together some points. And, you know, their next game is going to be against Buffalo and then the Coyotes. They need to win these next two games um, before they go to play the Lightning and the Panthers um, on Wednesday and Friday. Um, those are going to, you know, because you like these next games coming up on Friday and Saturday are going to be very, very important for the Jets. They need to win both of them. Um, especially when it comes to the points and everything um, because, you know, those two games are pretty winnable for the Jets. And then you look at the Avalanche's schedule right now, obviously things being early, they play the Ducks and then they play the Stars. So the Ducks, you know, they've been, kind of been, in, they've been pretty interesting as of late. So that could be, you know, they could, if, the, if depending on how things go, you know, the Jets are find themselves in a point right, in a position right now 
to get points and that's what matters and i think we all can agree on that because tonight's win it showed resilience it showed a team that's hungry and at times we've seen this you know consistently you know at times there's been two different identities of this team you know uh of the hungry offensive team like tonight and then the team that struggles to get going you know that you know kind of just can't get over one obstacle kind of in their way and i think that this version of the jets can be the more consistent one um, they just need to lock in more and tonight was a great game for that reason and especially coming off of that uh, a good game against the stars that they just weren't able to get into early enough and that cost them and then you know in this game they're early they're winning it's up to nothing uh, they're looking good and then you know you get two quick goals there in the second uh, and then you know it could go either way it's really looking like a go either way but Ehlers gets that uh, that goal to make things 3-2 it was a huge goal that completely you know shifted the momentum back in Winnipeg's favor and then they get three two more goals after that and Kyle Connor and Morgan Barons before the empty netter by Ehlers and at that point that Mercer goal you know 5-3 I'm not really worried at that point so I, I the Jets did everything they needed to do to battle back and win this game especially against a pretty good opponent like the New Jersey Devils you know they're not terrible they're a pretty damn good hockey team so I'm happy with this win I think that it is a damn good win that this team needed and hopefully they'll be able to carry this over and win these next couple games against the Sabres and the Coyotes. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, peace, love, and positivity. As always, uh, check out all the affiliate links down in the description below. Have a great rest of your day. Peace, love, and positivity. As always, go Jets, go. And I will see you guys in the next one very, very soon. Bye-bye.